Hi Gemini, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a love reading. What do you need to know regarding your love life? This may be uh, for singles, uh, for couples, for energy overall, whoever resonates with really. So we're going to start first with the Romance Angel deck and I'll pick five cards here to see. What are the messages here for June 2020? There will be an extended version here where we will go deeper depending on what this reading wants us to find out. Also, if you like a personal reading, please see the description box below. Okay, so what's going on with Gemini in love? Gemini in love for June 2020. One more, I need five cards. What's, what does Gemini need to know for June? We have forgiving and learning, and we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. All right, let's see. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, and then we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right, so the first card, it's new love. We have a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. For some of you, this may be that new emotion. It can be the same person for some of you. Just, you know, the sparks or the emotions are coming out kind of way. We have playfulness. I always feel like when I see this card, like a Sagittarius energy or the Page of Wands. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. He's saying true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. We have free yourself. I feel like this is, you know, free type of do not hold back energy. And we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So we will be doing <clears throat> a Celtic cross here and see what are the energies and what's coming towards you. So keeping in mind also those romance angel death messages or I should say cards. What is going on for Gemini, June 2020? What does Gemini need to know, please, for June 2020? Celtic cross spread in love. One more and we'll start. We have the Six of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, I feel like here, wants to move towards a better place. With the Six of Swords, always, I feel like, leaving conflict, moving on in a better direction, leaving anything that has been upsetting, mind transitioning here in a better place. Now, if you are not the Queen of Wands here, it may be that this Queen of Wands is coming towards you. It will resonate for the ones that connect with the element. We have a King of Cups, so I feel like this person is very much all about feelings and emotions. Can be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so who's going towards this wish fulfillment? Again, free yourself and love yourself first as well. But he's saying a wish will be granted here. That's what that King of Cups wants. All right, so what is overall? What do you need to know? Three of Cups. This is now what you may be questioning. This is the energy here that you're going to be feeling here overall. The Three of Cups is reconciliation. It is Mercury in Cancer, so it's very nurturing. Some of you Geminis, I'm pretty sure that have Mercury in Cancer as well here. Mercury is always closer to the sun. So with the Three of Cups, we're talking about rejoice. We're talking about happiness, good news, reconciliation here with someone, uh, you know, that you feel very much close to the true love now remember we have the playfulness so we can see the three of cards as party and you know kind of playfulness energy romantic the high priestess a lot of water a lot of water now venus as i mentioned in my previous when i did the monthly reading here is in retrograde in your sign but it's squaring neptune so it's creating you know this not just the illusion here, but uh, it, it has to do with Pisces is always about soulmates. It's always about the subconscious. Uh, it can be an illusion as well. So the high priestess is what creating this three of cups. Someone here listening to that intuition, opening up here, going within them, themselves. So I feel like, again, it's very much here inner type of energy. But again, some of you may, may find out something here that you feel it's good news, a secret, a realization, an epiphany. 
what you have known all along it's realizing kind of situation here all right so why is this happening here at the root of this we have the fool so this is because someone wants to take the leap of faith someone wants to start something someone is excited about a new adventure starting a new journey it can be even of the mind here but definitely it's because of that new love it is because starting something from the beginning is very exciting with with the fool because in a way it's just you don't know you just trust the process you just feel it's time for something new some good news here it doesn't have to be you know at, at the situation just someone here that you have known before again for some of you will be it can be regarding this new love as well that you feel someone else is coming in all right so in the past we have the temperance sagittarius energy in the in the past it looks like someone was kind of trying to heal remember that forgiving and type of learning situation balancing uh, a situation mostly patience and tempering uh, whatever urges here trying to understand opposition type of energy union but it was a, a process of just patience and making things happen slowly here you have the world in this situation so we have accomplishments some of you may be dealing with someone that is at distance but you are all about closure here all about achievements or about coming in together remember again that free yourself here and love yourself the world is it's so interesting i just looked at both of them um subconsciously you have the fool you know we start into this new journey we start something new here we don't know we just know that we have to go into this new beginning the world is our graduation is our accomplishment so it's it's consciously you know that this is what you want to achieve this is what you have been hoping or dreaming here to achieve you have been very patient look at the major arcana here the only no, that we don't have a major arcana is the three of cups everything else here is about lessons karma destiny type of situation so it's very very important here with the world so what is coming through what is coming through to oh my goodness this is so nice, Gemini, whoever you're dealing with. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, whatever you want to achieve, this is about commitment. This is about family, prosperity. So this is what's coming towards you. For some of you that, again, are in a relationship, you feel finally that the things are being prosperous. Prosperity here. For the ones here that are starting something new, the goal is regarding this commitment. Working hard to achieve. But this is what's coming through. Marriage, commitment, prosperity. A, a 10 so to me is that completion again okay so your attitude is the moon so with the moon here you feel a little bit uncertain there's a lot of emotions going on a little bit unclear you may be confusion this may be your attitude here as you again this news coming in your intuition everything all over the place here it's happening you may feel a little bit uncertain what is going remember at the foundation of this as i said the fool just takes that leap of faith but is uncertain here it's a journey so you may be feeling and another major arcana by the way you know that your intuition in a way with the high priestess is right and the three of cups but you may feel a little bit uncertain regarding this journey we have a lot i'm telling you a lot of piscean energy and a lot of water we have the page of cups that is external to you now having the page of uh, cups external this may be how they see you this is your environment this may be a person but the page of cups is a someone wants to express their feelings this is someone that is trusting that inner intuition is even learning uh, to trust that intuition so this is what again an expression of love opening up trusting the feeling here loving yourself oh my goodness we keep going with the same theme so we have the ace of cups now the ace of cups can be very much like the the new new love there as you can see it's this new feeling it's abundant with ace of cups it's overflowing emotions coming in remember the three of cups is at the center here this is what you are questioning this happiness this reconciliation this good news and you're hoping again that this is going to realize here this emotion this offer for some of you very, very it's beautiful whoever you're connecting here 
whatever in, in your relationship is very beautiful when you see in a love reading a lot of cups you know that that's what you want because it's all about romance all right so what is the best possible outcome here this the ten of pentacles is what is your immediate future that you need to know or immediately what's coming in the page of pentacles is the best possible outcome now we will clarify both the ten of pentacles and the page of pentacles but it's interesting that both of these are pentacles so with the page of pentacles we're talking here not only that it's a gift it's very practical here remember that heart to heart conversation the page of pentacles learns as well here when it comes to to material wealth when it comes here to be more practical even when it comes to gift something again the ten of pentacles here it, it feels like family what do you feel someone here is being more practical or is gifting or is opening up learning here when it comes to you so i, I in a way it feels not to rush in it's the process of again slowly here coming together knowing each other offering financial for some of you it may be a finances and career situation this can be a child as well here we will clarify and see but we are talking about messages and these messages is a little bit more cautious than the page of pentacles which both of these earth and water go very well together they nurture one another type of energy so it's still beautiful the energy but it looks like again it's a more cautious practical type of uh, learning uh, though the intuition is very strong and the emotions are strong page of pentacles tells me a, a cautious approach here so i want here three cards for the page of pentacles and three cards for the ten of pentacles please and I want one card for the world. Let's see what's coming in. What do we need to know? Some of you, this may be again a working situation, whatever financial that is going to bring you this abundance. The King of Swords, which can be an air sign. Look at the moon. Who is again? Because this was coming here in your attitude. What is something here that you have to reveal, but you're uncertain? If it's going to go your own way look the five of swords there can be conflict it can be fear of defeat you can be someone here may be feeling that the other person their uh, motivations or again they are not being sincere here so i feel like it's a little bit being cautious with that energy look at the ace of pentacles again it's the same situation about uh, an offer here a beginning a practical beginning opening that window of opportunity and slowly learning here the process the four of cups tells me again that this is someone that has been contemplating here but is not sure how to go about it again the four of cups sometimes is afraid that they missed the opportunity or unsure here clinging or holding on to pessimism so again the theme is to open up and look at the four of wands engagement gratitude celebration project being completed so if whatever it is this person here some of you here may be feeling when it comes to this marriage the page of pentacles may be literally here to buy something even as a ring and someone is not sure here when it comes to this opportunity because again this can be very much a marriage we have the three of wands look at the four of wands and three of wands three of wands is someone that has put a lot of energy here a lot of dedication they're waiting now for this investment again if it is for some of you that is in a marriage this is very prosperous for the ones that are about to connect here with someone this says go ahead which i feel like it's already done someone already has set those intentions and waiting here for the ships to come in which this is what's coming with the ten of pentacles this is what's being realized the abundance that you have worked six of pentacles i'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, pentacles as well so this is not only um about emotions here but financially stability here as well a give and take so again uh, this is very much reciprocated energy here towards both of you and an abundance and the hierophant is marriage the hierophant is marriage as well we're talking about even government wise here or someone in power but he's saying that someone that has been expecting when it comes to this commitment this abundance taurus energy for some of you here with both moon in taurus and the hierophant but the expectations finally that you have worked whatever you have balanced is coming in remember 
do not hesitate here if you feel like this is your calling when it comes to this love connection or when it comes to abundance at home or in a relationship it's saying the best is to go for it this is the student this is the learner this is again the person that will gather that information and make things happen type of energy okay um gemini i'm really hoping this does resonate with you guys thank you so much if you are interested in a personal reading please see the description box below thank you and i'll see you next time thank you bye bye